As both the input costs of growing avocados and market pressure increase, it is important for growers to ensure that they are doing both an efficient and effective task of producing avocados that meet consumer expectations. Research has shown that as orchards mature, the volume and frequency of applying crop protectants, essential nutrients and growth regulators also increase. To assist in meeting these challenges, growers identified a need to investigate new spray equipment that can make their life easier, cut spray intervals down, achieve better fruit yields and pack out quality outcomes, and save on input costs to achieve a better return for their product. Selecting the right sprayer is important and making these decisions has been shown to be challenging. This video explores several factors that growers may consider useful in selecting and evaluating a new sprayer for their farm. Factor one, capacity of the sprayer to replace the air volume within the canopy with water droplets to achieve good spray coverage. The height and shape of the trees to be sprayed will influence the required volume of air and air delivery systems. Displacing the air within the canopy can be achieved using a range of machine configurations including high volume hydraulic pressure, PTO driven air assisted fans, electric and hydraulic spinning fans. The desired droplet spectrum, the proximity to neighbours and budget may also influence the choice of air assist, low and ultra low volume or high pressure hydraulic sprayers. Factor 2 timely application of crop protectants. The area to be sprayed, the application volume required per hectare, and the time it takes to apply a cover spray are important. Ensuring the timely application, sometimes over large areas, can be challenging. In large mature orchards, when applying 1,500 litres per hectare, it can take three to five days on some farms to apply a cover spray with existing equipment. The size of the blocks and the distance for refilling can also influence the size of the spray tanks or refilling systems deployed. Factor 3. Spacing between rows in combination with slope and evenness of the ground may limit the choice of sprayers. In hilly or sloping terrain, lower profile sprayers may be required rather than towers or booms. The weight and size of the sprayer may influence decisions such as compaction on the orchard floor and the power of tractor required to spray safely. Bigger tractors are expensive and add to the cost of applying crop protectants. Factor four, range of tree ages and size within or between blocks on a farm. The ease of controlling spray application volumes, either manually or remotely, by turning nozzles on or off and adjusting air volume delivery into different parts of the canopy when spraying a range of tree sizes can improve efficiencies and effectiveness of each application. Taller trees require fans evenly spaced along the canopy to manage air and spray delivery. Overall, there is less risk of runoff and overspray when using air assisted delivery such as air blast on taller trees. Factor 5. Ease of sprayer operation by staff, on-farm maintenance and support. The preference of the growers for electric or hydraulic based sprayers may be influenced by growers capacity to maintain the equipment in the event of breakdowns. Ability to service the sprayer on-farm, the cost of replacement parts and local availability of suppliers a sprayer that can be easily operated and understood by staff, service technicians and backup service are all important to consider in purchasing a sprayer. Factor 6. Enhancing spray efficacy. Selecting a sprayer with a good agitation system is important to ensure products are applied to optimise efficiency. In summary, key points identified by growers in selecting a sprayer include the sprayer can replace the air volume inside the trees being sprayed with spray droplets. The size of spray tanks match tractor size 
and improve efficiencies in spraying. Match sprayer configuration to row spacing and operation on orchard terrain such as slopes. Sprayer operation can efficiently be managed to spray variable tree sizes in orchards. Ease of maintenance of spray equipment. Good tank agitation to achieve spray efficacy. Growers are strongly advised to undertake both coverage and calibration checks before deciding on the purchase of a new sprayer, after the delivery of a new sprayer, and then regularly to check the desired coverage and volume of spray for their orchard is being achieved. Growers wanting to calibrate their sprayers could use the techniques described in a recent video on calibrating an orchard sprayer. Growers wanting to assess spray coverage in their crop canopy using water sensitive paper could use the techniques described in a recent video on evaluating spray coverage in orchards.